Welcome back to CIEgroup.com. We're over at the security event 2022 on the interim stand with our very own Pete George. Now, if you want to talk about public address and you want to talk about commercial audio, there is no better person to speak to than Pete George. Pete, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Chris. Now, we're here with Interem and we're here with their latest IP audio range, but we're at a security event, first of all. And I guess that, that one of the key things is everything within CCTV now is IP. So, so first of all, what's the delay for the audio industry with regards to IP? Well, when it comes to audio, it, it always used to be a very much of a dark art to some people. There were people that would work only in the audio industry. There were people that would only work in security or fire. And what with the emergence of IP and everything being connected to networks nowadays, we're finding that security installers are getting involved in audio. Audio people are getting more in, involved in security and intercom technologies. And of course, this whole, whole um, ecosystem is coming now all together where installers and integrators can now offer the whole solution. And it's about flexibility of products. Um, if you go back to the good old days of audio systems, it would be you have a speaker on a wall or in a factory or in a car park where you'll have to run that speaker cable back two, 300 meters to an amplifier that would sit in a rack somewhere that would then have to talk to a microphone that was on a multi-core cable 50 meters away in a control room somewhere else within the, within the site. And although you only went and purchased a horn speaker that would cost you 100 pound at the time or 50 pound, it would cost you four, 500 pound in installation cost alone to get that set of cables three quarters of a mile across the car park from one side to the other. So it was quite an expensive undertaking to do. Speakers now, they're IP, they have amplifiers built in the back of the speakers, which means all you do now is you put a cat cable in the back as you would do a camera, and you can then introduce those speakers into your CCTV recording environment and it's an, another endpoint that you can address individually as you can with a camera and any other technology. One of the big driving points, like anything with IP and anything um, technology based, is that as the market and demand grows for it, the price becomes cheaper and cheaper as they become more cost effective. If you look back at early IP speakers when they first came to the market, you could honestly pay about a thousand to eight hundred pound for an IP addressable speaker. When you look at a conventional horn speaker, the two things were too far apart and too expensive for people to make that leap from one technology to another. Now, with IP speakers in the hundreds, in the low hundreds I might add, it becomes more accessible and also it takes away the requirement to people to be audio specialists. If you're an IT specialist or an IP specialist and you understand networks and IP addresses, you can now take command and run your speakers. So there are, there are a lot of huge benefits with moving towards IP. Uh, one of the most simple ones certainly is, is cable infrastructure. Yeah. So you're not having to run a, a specific audio speaker yeah. cable infrastructure and you can use the existing ethernet infrastructure. Distance, as you've already talked about, the, the distance difference is huge now between analog and now moving towards IP. But, but zone control, as we look at much bigger systems, the way that we can control zones it has now moved on to another level, hasn't it? Yeah, one of the other problems that you have with audio systems of late is that when you implement them and you install them, you had to know at the very beginning how many zones you've got, how many microphones you've got, what are those zones connected to? Because once the guys have put the multi-core in the ground and they put the tarmac over it, there's no going back. You know, if you've got, say, a six or eight zone system and you decide, actually, I've forgotten about that other zone I need, I need another two or three zones, you've got to rethink and it's going to cost a fortune to go back. But with IP, it's all configurable. If you want a speaker to be part of a zone, you add it in the software. If you want to take it out and put it onto another zone, you do it in the software. And I guess one of the other benefits is really, as we sit here among so much IP CCTV and access control and all the systems, it's the convergence of systems together, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. We, we don't now need an audio installer, a CCTV installer, exactly, an access yeah, installer. Exactly. It can all be done by one, but more importantly, um, the system manager, the property manager, is now able to control everything really from one user interface. If we yeah. look at our new partnership with Quantica, for instance, yeah. 
it all becomes one large system, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. One other benefit that, that we have of modern IP-based systems is you're not in the typical scenario of having a you know two or three 42U rack cabinets full of amplifiers that are burning lots and lots of electricity 24/7. It's a much um, easier way easier way to work. So we're here with Interem, one of the biggest commercial audio brands that you're going to see in the world. Really well known for analog, of course. Yeah. Now available in IP, which is absolutely key to the next level of integration. I guess if we think about if you're in the analog sector and you're looking at moving towards IP, first of all, first suggestion is pick up the phone and speak to, speak to Pete George. Absolutely. What else should we be considering if we're looking at that transition? At the end of the day, when you're working in IP, every single speaker, or if it's amplification driven where your amplifiers are networked, it's just an IP address that sits on the network. One of the prime examples of this system here with Interem is any of these speakers that are IP can be your server. One speaker, the horn for example, that can be your server. That can then manage all the zoning, all the messages, all the scheduling for 256 speakers, all from the back of the circuit board in any one of your speakers that you wish to nominate as your server and all the other 255 will follow. If you want to go higher than that, we also do a larger server which will do the same thing, including contact closures, contact in, contact out, a larger base for scheduling, up to 512 zones from a single microphone, integration into phone systems for SIP paging, so you can pick up a handset in your office, you can ring a phone number like you would ring an extension, and you pop out the speaker at the other end. It's that simple. So if you're in the audio industry, if you're looking at your next public address, background music system, you really now need to be considering IP audio. If you're considering IP audio, Interem has got to be one of your considerations. If you need help with your next system, speak to the CIE team. We'll put you in touch with Pete and our design team. Click on the link below for all the latest from cieGroup.com.